Okay, in this video, we're going to go over a type of transformation called a dilation. And, um, well, let's just, and these are the vocabulary words that we're actually going to cover. So what is a dilation? What is a reduction or an enlargement? What is a scale factor? And what does similarity have to do with dilations? And what is a center point? Okay, so real quickly, what is a dilation? Uh, basically, a dilation is when you take a figure in the coordinate plane, and let's just take a triangle, okay? And then when you move it, you make it either larger, okay, so it goes from a small size to a large size, or you make it smaller. Okay, so a dilation can either be an enlargement or it can be a reduction, okay? And that's where these two vocabulary words come in. So, what is a scale factor? The scale factor is the amount that you multiply each one of these vertices by to get your larger size or to get your smaller size or your reduced size. Now, you'll notice I, I use the word similar in here. A dilation has some uh, very particular uh, characteristics, right? And that is that the proportions of the original pre-image remain the same, okay? So the proportions from the pre-image to the image must remain the same, which means that they are similar. So for example, let's say that this was, we'll call this point one, one. We'll call this point over here, um, two, one. And we'll call this point up here one, three, okay? The scale factor would be, I would multiply each one of these points by a particular scale. So let's say I'm gonna multiply by three, okay? Which means that three times the X would make this three, three times the Y would make that three. Three times this X would make that six, three times that Y would make it three. And then finally, three times this one, again, would make it three, but three times this three would make it nine. This new figure, which is enlarged, is multiplied by three, or the scale factor of three, okay? And you represent that by, doing it, uh, by writing it like this. Uh, X, Y, the original X, Y's, okay, are multiplied by some kind of a scale factor, which is called K, to become your new location. All right, now let me just kind of zero in on that just a little bit more. There we go. A little bit more focus. Let me bring it down just a teeny bit. So notice what I did, okay? I have my original vertices. I have my scale factor, which we call K. I multiplied each one of the different coordinates, different points in the coordinate, and that's how I would get where the new coordinates would be, okay? And it would you'd uh, represent it by doing it like this. In the same way, if my scale factor were some number less than one, Okay, so let me just write this out slightly differently. So, if scale factor k is 1 or greater, you have an enlargement. Okay? Now, if your scale factor is some number less than one, okay, between zero and one, you're gonna have a reduction. And let me show you how that works. So let's say I do this. Let's say my scale factor is times one half or 0.5. So multiply 0.5 by one and you'll get 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Over here, half of two would be one. Half of one would be 0.5. Half of one is again 0.5. And half of three is 
this new image, right, with these vertices, is similar in proportion, right, but it is now smaller. It has been reduced. So if scale factor k is less than 1, and it has to go down to 0. If it's anything less than 0, then it doesn't count, right? And I, I'll, I'll explain that in a different video. Then you basically have a reduction. All right. Now, let me show you something else and the last point, and that's called the center point itself. Now, you'll notice here that I have a... you notice here that I have a triangle, and we'll call it ABC, vertex A, vertex B, vertex C. And I have a point out here. And I am going to measure the point, and this point actually out here is called the center point, even though it doesn't look like it's the center of anything, right? We'll call that the center point, all right? And I'm going to measure the distance between that center point and vertex A. And you'll notice that it's two of these markings, right? If I were to also just go another two, I have that point right here. Going from the center point to that vertex, you'll notice that it's three. I'm going to go the exact same distance here. I have the center point to this vertex. Again, it's one. I'm going to do it one more time, and there's that center point there. This new image Okay. You'll notice that it's twice as large. We call this A1, B1, C1. And the other really interesting thing is, and we'll just get a different color ink here so you can just see the difference. Actually, i just do it with pencil. This lies along, whoops, That line, this lies along that line, and this lies along this line. Okay? You'll see that basically this enlargement, right, is just to double the distance. So this scale factor would be times 2. And the same thing from here. If I just increased everything by 2, I would get a twice as large figure as my original. Okay? So I'm going to give you a problem that I'd like you to try. 